Uh, joining us now, Brian Russ, former Notre Dame hockey star who now carves up the ice for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Brian, welcome to Notre Dame Day 2021. Uh, do we hear you? I think we, uh, is your, Brian, do we have uh, audio from Brian? Let's see. Oh, yep. There hey, we go. Not? All right. Sounds yeah, good. Sorry about that. <laughs> and no problem. Technology in 2021. We know all about that. Uh, you're carving it up uh, for the Penguins now, but you grew up in Michigan. What uh, hockey or, uh, popular hockey town are you from? And have you always wanted to play? Yeah, uh, I grew up in uh, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Always wanted to play. Uh, my older brother played hockey, um, and obviously, being being the little brother, I always had to do uh, what he did. So uh, I got into hockey, and I kind of just uh, I fell in love with it from the start. Yeah, let's go back to your playing days at Notre Dame. 161 games, 43 goals, 54 assists. What do you remember most from that time, and what stands out to you when you think about your time at Notre Dame? Uh, I think just the relationships I made with um, with coaches, but with teammates, uh, especially their friendships that that I'm going to have forever. They're guys that I that, I, that I'm still really close with. Um, a lot of them were in my wedding party. Uh, it's just uh, just those relationships with kind of everyone on campus. Um, but Notre Dame is such an unbelievably uh, unbelievably tight community that it's 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 definitely special to kind of see the world kind of after you go to Notre Dame and see how close everyone is still and how everyone helps each other out. Has your view of Notre Dame changed since playing there, uh, you know, seven, eight years ago and then after? How does that change? Um, I think my appreciation for it grows kind of kind of from year to year. You see um, you see so many important people and so many things and so many people doing doing uh, great things who, who attended Notre Dame, whether – they do it while they're there, or they or they do it afterwards in the, in the sports, in the academic world, and science, and in the medical fields, kind of all over the place. So I think uh, just to see that is uh, pretty special, and know that I can be a part of that. Absolutely, you are a part of that uh, that group uh, that goes on to do great things. You won a Stanley Cup in 2017, but you joined the Penguins in 2014. Talk about playing your first game in the NHL and scoring your first goal. What was that like for you? Uh, first game was, was pretty special. Obviously, uh, oh, I knew, um, had to call my parents right away. It's something that, uh, as a kid, they, they were the, they were the ones there taking me to 6am practice, taking me to tournaments, driving me everywhere, paying for everything. So just, uh, just to kind of let them know and kind of let them know how grateful I am for, for what they've done for me and to share that moment with them is awesome. And then, Scoring my first goal is something um, I kind of dream of as a kid, uh, scoring goals in the, in the NHL. And uh, to be able to do that and kind of just to be able to live out my dream has been awesome. Now, Pittsburgh is a sports town and a hockey town. You won that Stanley Cup in 2017. What has it been like playing in Pittsburgh and winning the championship there? Uh, playing in Pittsburgh has been awesome. Uh, the people here are great. Uh, like you said, they love their sports and, uh, and they definitely love the Penguins and, and you can see it in all the support that we get. Um, when we won those Stanley Cups, it's obviously uh, to kind of get to the parade and see how many people are there and how, Im how important it is to the town and to the people of Pittsburgh and the surrounding area. It just shows, uh, shows how invested they are in us. And I think um, that just kind of makes us want to work that much harder for them. All right, tell us about uh, Mr. Elimination. You've been dubbed that by fans for scoring goals in Game 7s and breaking hearts of the opposing teams. So uh, what do you think of the nickname? How did you get it? Uh, I guess there was, a, there, was, there was a few elimination games, maybe one or two Game 5s, and then a couple of Game 7s there where, where, where I was fortunate enough to be on the receiving end of some really good plays and be able to score some uh, big goals. Um, it's definitely cool when you kind of see that, that name floating around and uh, – Hopefully, in the years to come and in the playoff series to come, I can uh, keep that keep that uh, nickname alive. Oh, we're hoping so as well. We're rooting for you here in South Bend. Uh, best of luck there uh, this next season, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully, awesome. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, Brian. Thanks for joining us on Notre Dame Day.